Next, inventory levels. Now to understand inventory levels, let's make an example here. For example, this box, let's suppose this is our warehouse. So in warehouse, just to control our inventory, we can establish different control levels in any warehouse. First of all, the maximum inventory level. Maximum inventory level can be somewhere here. Let's say the maximum capacity of our warehouse is to hold 1000 kilograms. Every warehouse will definitely be having some uh, maximum capacity. So that let's say for this warehouse is 1000 kilograms. So this is what, this is the maximum level of inventory that we can hold. Now it's not necessary that we establish the maximum inventory level exactly at the maximum capacity of warehouse. If maximum capacity of the warehouse is somewhere here, let's say 1200 kilograms. So we will decide the maximum level of inventory, let's say 1000 kilograms. So we, whenever our inventory level reach at 1000 kilograms, so we get an idea that we are close to reach the maximum physical capacity of the warehouse and we need to control the inventory. So we might need to increase the usage of inventory or we should not place a new order. That's the purpose of maximum level. How we can calculate the maximum level? This equation is given reorder level plus the reorder quantity minus minimum usage into minimum lead time. So whenever you are going to solve this equation with the given information, you will get the maximum level. And maximum level you might get in units or kilograms or whatever. After that, the next level is minimum level. Minimum level, let's say somewhere here. So minimum level, for example, for this organization is, let's say 300 kilograms. So what does it mean? Minimum level sometimes also refers to as buffer inventory. So when we order, for example, we were having 1000 kilograms of our inventory, we start using our inventory, then let's suppose 100 kilograms, 200 kilograms, and from maximum level, our inventory level start falling. And when it, when it reached to the minimum level of 300 kilograms, so this will be like an alarm or like an internal control that we are now at the minimum level of inventory and we should reduce the usage of inventory because we are only left with 300 kilograms. So we need to manage our production or we need to place a new order or there's a strong need to refill your or replace your order for new inventory or fresh supplies. So this can be a critical level. This minimum inventory level sometime also refers to as buffer inventory. Buffer inventory or safety inventory. That if inventory level goes below 300 kilograms, so we need to be very cautious. This is the inventory that we have kept for the emergency purposes that if um, for example, there's a shortage of raw material in the market and so on. So for a few days, we can use this buffer inventory or a safety inventory. How we can calculate this? Reorder level minus average usage into average lead time. After that, average inventory level. Average inventory level, obviously, the average between maximum level and the minimum level. The center level or a normal level of our inventory can be called as average level. For example, here we decided our average level, let's say uh, 600 kilograms. So any level, whatever we consider as a normal level of our inventory will be considered as an average level. How we can determine the average level? Safety inventory plus half of reorder quantity. So whatever buffer inventory we have, plus half of the order quant reorder quantity that we place an order every time. With this, we can calculate the average level. Then the most important level. Sorry, do you have any question? Yes, sir. the average level formula is what confused me from before. You know, why is it half of reorder quantity? Half basically represents the average of reorder quantity. Not the full reorder quantity, but an average of it. Because we are calculating the average now. So safety inventory, the minimum one, plus average of reorder quantity. 
So we don't know how much quantity we we are going to reorder every time. Sometimes we give big re, uh, reorders, sometimes we give small reorders. So size can uh, differ from time to time. So that's why we cannot take reorder quantity any, every time because it will give us very different average level every time. So that's why we calculate half of reorder quantity just to show an average of reorder quantity because order size can be bigger or can be smaller. Clear with this thing? And what is the safety inventory? Safety inventory is the minimum inventory level. Like in this example is 300 kilograms. So safety okay. inventory plus average of reorder quantity that we are placing every time. This will be our average inventory level. Average inventory level doesn't mean 100% uh, that whatever is the maximum capacity take a half of that. Average level basically mean normal level. Now, normal level doesn't always need to be at half. This is normal level. So normal level, exactly, it doesn't need to be half of the capacity of the warehouse. Normal level depend upon our usage, about how much quantity we are ordering. See in a period, if we are placing bigger orders, so obviously average level will be higher. If we are placing small orders for some period of time, average level will be lower. If we increase our production capacity or if we want to produce more unit, so average level need to be or normal levels need to be higher. But if there's a seasonal fluctuation and there's a very less sales demand due to any reason and we need to uh, keep our production at a minimum level, then normal levels will be lower than even half or closer to minimum level of inventory. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir. One more question. Yeah. All these minimum, maximum and average levels. These we will calculate for control purposes. For control purposes, these are yes, for control purposes because in warehouse we need to keep an eye on the inventory levels. So, whenever it falls below the minimum level, it's an alarming situation. We need to place a new order at this point because we are using some inventory which we keep for the emergency purposes. When it's about to reach maximum level, we know that if we are going to place new order then we will not be having, we might not be having place to keep that inventory in the storeroom. So we, uh, we manage all such kind of inventory level so we can keep an eye. Clear with this thing? Perfectly, sir. All right. Okay, after that, just give you me a second. The... Okay. okay. Next, then we are having the reorder level. What is reorder level? Reorder level usually is a point between maximum level and average inventory level anywhere, but somehow more close to average inventory level. What is reorder level? Reorder level is a point that whenever we reach at, for example, we fill up our warehouse, we start using the inventory and we reach at this level. This level is, for example, is 800 kilograms. So this 800 kilograms, whenever 800 kilograms will left in the warehouse. So this is the point that where we need to place a new order to our supplier. Then we keep using our inventory and somewhere when we reach around minimum inventory level, so we will get the fresh supplies from the supply. Because reorder level, why it needs to be higher? Because when we are going to place an order, so in the next minute, we will not going to get um, the supplies from a supplier there will always be a lead time. What is the lead time? Lead time basically is the time that, we're, that the total time that is required to place an order and get the supplies from the supplier. The total time that elapsed between this will be considered as a lead time. So we need to keep the lead, mind, uh, lead time in our mind. So at reorder level, we place the order but we do not get the supplies. We keep using the inventory on a regular basis and then somewhere close to minimum level, we will get the fresh supplies and we will restore our warehouse. How we can calculate the reorder level? Maximum usage on a daily basis or weekly basis, it will always be given to you in the question. Multiply the maximum lead time. So when we multiply this, we will get the reorder level. Clear with the lead time and the reorder level? Yes, sir. One question more, that when we reach at the reorder level, so we know that we need to place a new order. Now, next question can be, what should be the size of the order? 
how many units we should order from our supplier. Should we place a big order or small order or what? So the answer to this is EOQ, economic order quantity. That we should use the equation of economic order quantity and whatever units we get from this equation, we should place that order size. How to calculate economic order quantity and why it's the best order size, why EOQ will tell you the best order size later on, then we are going to work with this. Clear with this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. 